Welcome to Legal Break. I'm Maureen Akers, and with me today, special guest, we have Gary Bruce. Gary, thank you so much for joining us. You're a legal expert. Well, something like that, <laughs> but thank you for having me. I'm looking forward to doing this. Yes, and this is a new segment we're doing here on WTVM. Every Wednesday, you can tune in right here and find out some topics, um, legal topics that are in the news, and that's what we're going to talk about. And I'm at your service. <laughs> Very so good. So we got one. So we've got one. We've got one. The debate. Oh my goodness. Have you yeah. watched the debate recently? It, there's a lot of fireworks going on there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, you know, I can't stay away from it. Who can? It's, it's, it's good TV. It's it is. better than the reality <laughs> stuff. I guess it is reality. But yeah, I watched it with great interest, actually. So on the, the hot topic in the debate is there these recorded, or has been going on around this, these um, recorded conversations. So tell me, what is the law regarding recorded conversations? Can someone record me without me knowing about it? Well, they certainly can when you're mic'd up like we are. Right. You know, or if you're on a bus mic'd up. So, you know, so there's, that's not even an issue. You mm -hmm. should know what's going on around you. Uh, and I, So the issue then is can I record you maybe on my iPhone or, or on my recorder or, or some way that you don't know about? Right. And I can. Mm -hmm. In Georgia, I can call you and record your conversation and, and I can play it later even in a court. Mm -hmm. All right. So, so then someone, can someone, if they've recorded me, can they share that publicly then without me knowing about it or without my consent? Yeah, the, the law in Georgia is that you assume that you're going to be recorded, okay. essentially. Now, I can't listen to you call your husband or mm -hmm. somebody and, and, you know, and, and just do that because I want to. Right. Uh, that would have to be sanctioned by a court for a law enforcement agency to do that. But as far as uh, just listening or recording what you talk to people about, you can mm -hmm. carry a recorder in just when you see your doctor. I mean, it, so there's no violation there. These are your privileges in that situation. It will be your privilege to waive right. uh, your doctor-patient relationship. So if you want to publish it after that, you can. I had a case once where a client's, uh, the adverse party called my client and left a message on his machine. Mm -hmm. We used it in court. Mm -hmm. uh, she. Uh, she looked like Mother Teresa at the trial, but <laughs> she didn't sound like Mother Teresa, so uh, it had a big impact on the case. And so, yes, it can be used that way. So, you know, especially in today, and that was before all our technology now. Right. Uh, I would just assume you're being recorded anytime you talk. Right. So it could be possibly used against you and ev as evidence. Um, so right. be careful, right? And, and evidence is... Uh, it's all about libel and slander, I guess, where it re really kind of comes down. Yeah. Uh, we had the Gawker situation earlier this year where mm -hmm. they found it wasn't appropriate. But in most cases, uh, the truth is a defense. There you go. So yeah. hot legal topics in the news. Uh, Gary Bruce, more every, information. Yeah. yeah. Every week, I hope to right. handle something. There so you I look go. forward to it. Mari. More information Thank on you. your website, too. Thank you so much for joining us, and I look forward to seeing you on the very next legal break.